welcome to the Randahari lab. My name is Hamid Randahari. I'm the faculty of pharmaceutics and biomedical engineering here at the University of Utah. We do a lot of cool stuff. Some of it has to do with controlled drug delivery systems to try to make drugs more effective and less toxic. We make polymeric materials and also we look at toxicity of nanoparticles. So this is our lab in the cell culture area. Meet one of our lab members. Her name is Razia. She works on toxicology of nanomaterials. Razia, could you tell us a little bit about your project? Yeah, sure. So we are working on the toxicity of like some silicon nanoparticles as a function of their physical chemical properties. And also we are making some layer by layer hollow silicon nanoparticles for like delivery application for drug and chain delivery. Fantastic, Razia. So in addition to uh, looking at the effect of particles in cells, we also uh, try to synthesize polymers. These are new polymers that we make by recombinant techniques. So instead of chemical synthesis, we do a lot of, do a lot of molecular biology to make these cool polymers called silk elastin block polymers. So here we have Doug and Ethan who are trying to ferment some polymeric materials. Doug, tell us about your project. So as Amelia mentioned, we genetically engineer these recombinant silk elastin-like protein polymers. And by engineering them genetically, we can fine tune their properties through customization of their uh, amino acid sequence. And we use this amino acid sequence in these polymers for localized delivery for radiation-induced proctitis, treatment of heart disease, and also as liquid embolics for things like uh, cerebral aneurysms and hepatocellular carcinomas. Um, the nature, the genetic nature of these allows us to change the structures, include bioactive motifs, and really improve the structure function and understand the structure function relationship of these polymers. By the way, check out our beautiful medical school and medical center here. Our lab is located in between the lower campus, which is basically engineering and chemistry as well as the medical school. We work very closely with physician scientists to try to understand the unmet clinical needs. And along the way, check out the beautiful view of Salt Lake City. Uh, on a sunny day, you can really see the nice sunset at this great Salt Lake over there. In addition to the good lab environment, students have really this beautiful view of the valley. So here, now this is Jason, he's a third year biological chemistry student who started with biological chemistry as pharmaceutics. Jason works with silica nanoparticles similar to the type that Razia talked about. So one of the things that we do, as I mentioned, we work very closely with physician scientists to try to understand unmet clinical needs. One of the things that Nitish, as well as Tanya are working on, is try to develop liposomal systems that deliver drugs to the sinonasal tissue. Nitish, tell us about your project. Right, so uh, chronic rhinosinusitis is a debilitating inflammatory disorder of the sinonasal mucosa. Uh, the current available therapies are not that effective, so we're trying to circumvent that by doing uh, systemic drug delivery, uh, by using nanocarrier systems that can extravasate uh, through these dysregulated blood vessels and accumulate into the sinonasal tissue. And we're going to deliver anti-inflammatory drugs to treat this inflammation. So Nitish is seriously trying to make liposomes here. This is Tanya, first year pharmaceutical chemistry. Our student here, Nithya, is uh, again a biological chemistry student and pharmaceutics who is developing polymeric systems for targeted delivery to extracellular matrix. Nithya, tell us about your project. Hi, so uh, over here on this side of the lab, we work on designing um, water-soluble polymers that are adapted to target some moiety within the tumor matrix or the tumor cells. And uh, what I work on is basically um, attaching collagen targeting peptides to polymers and then targeting them to the ECM of the tumor. This is Paris Jaffari. She's a research assistant professor in our lab. We also have a state of the art synthetic hoods, instruments for characterization of materials, this is Alexa, a PharmD student who's working side by side by Nitish to try to learn about some of the things that we do in the lab. And finally, there's no place else to go but to come to Gandahari lab. Thank you. Mm -hmm.